Burns. This is Tiffany Tanuki, also known as Tanuki Pearls. Um, sorry for the limited space. As you can see, I'm moving. Uh, I'm going to do a couple of variations on Vortex today. Uh, so first one I'm going to start with is that one-handed Vortex. This is the one I'm beginning the video that you saw. Like this. Okay, and there's uh, two ways you can make it really pretty. You can either do it fast, like I just did. Or you can go slow, which is really pretty and graceful. Okay. Um, one important thing to note is the more you keep it on a horizontal plane, the prettier and uh, less kind of wobbly or wonky it'll look. You'll probably need a decently, I would say maybe 34 inches or smaller. Anything larger might be kind of hard for your arm strength, um, for your size of your hoop. So. There's two ways to kind of do this. I'm pretty much just going to show you one way because I think it's a lot easier, but I'll discuss the other one. Um, so basically when it's going around you, again, I've talked about this in my other videos where you think of your body as an axis and your hoop is orbiting or rotating around yourself. So if there's always a momentum, you can push against it. So I'm just going to briefly discuss this one. I think it's stupid and it's hard and there's an easier way, but I'll talk about it because you know, maybe it'll work for you. So as it's coming around you, you can just hold your hand out and you don't even grab it. You can just push against it and let's make sure you're rotating opposite of where it is. So you're just pushing against it. So you're literally not even gripping the hoop at all. You are just, as it's rotating around you, you're just pushing your hand out and opposing it. Um, something I would say is, that's kind of silly, but kind of just be one with your hoop. Um, you always follow it. You pretend it's your best friend and you're just staring at it. You just always look at it and follow it around. Okay. So like I said, I don't really like that way because I think it's kind of weird. It doesn't work that well. Maybe a better way. But you can do that. So that way you don't even hold it. The way I do it, I do grip it. And this uses um, arm strength. And that's literally all I'm doing. I'm gripping it with my thumb facing in. You can start down or up, it does not matter. Um, so starting down, you will be rotating with it. And it's always by your side. You're following that hoop. Follow, follow, follow. And that's it. Vortex and going down, same thing. So usually I'll be doing the hang out the top. At the point at which I want to start following my hoop, I will grab it. So. I'll see it at the top, and I want to just start following my baby. You hold it. See, I'm still just holding it. And just keep that arm strength. Hold it by your side. I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm just holding it. And just keeping that plane. Cutting around in circles. And continuing. So again, you can do it nice and slow. Grab it. Or you can do it fast, and both of them will have a different effect. So that's the first one. Uh, the other one you saw is just a bit of a jump through, I guess, um, from vortex. So your vortex is down to your body, and instead of stopping at your waist, we can start waist looping. You can rotate it around. So as you know, in a vortex, you go down, switch up. So in this token, you're bringing it all the way down. So it goes around the axis that is your body, jump out. Stuck with this okay, so again, you bring it down, and slow motion is coming around. If it's going to hit my right leg first, whatever leg it's going to hit first, jump out with that leg first, get it out of there, and then keep going. So do one more time. Down your body, jump out. Okay. And uh, the other move I did was basically the opposite, so getting into the vortex. Um, so I like to do this from a helicopter, which I don't really have room, room to do, but it doesn't matter. You can just have it around your body, whatever. Um, but essentially, you are creating that circle for yourself to jump through. So it doesn't matter where you start it. You can start it this way with a flat plane. You can do a helicopter, which I like because it helicopters switch planes for you. Um, so it can open everything up. So I like to helicopter, helicopter. And now I have it in a way where my palm is facing up. And it's perfect for me to jump in that hole. 
bring it right on up. Okay, so then I like to helicopter, palm space up, up, and jump right in. And from that, you can do all the vortex variations. You can go from here, jump on in, go into the one hand of you just one, and etc. All right, hope that helps, Coopers. Have a good day. Bye.